you know, his, his handgun. And when people get hit, they don't just get hit, they get hit, go, <gasps> like, every time someone gets hit by, from the boss with a gun, and he has like this, I don't know if it's like a shotgun, I guess it's a shotgun, because, you know, it, it pumps, but it's a shotgun, I don't see, it's not like a regular, just a pump shotgun, it's, I'm not sure the exact, what you call that shotgun, if you want to call it a shotgun, it looks like, it seems like one, but every time he hits one, boom, squibs, and they fly out, boom, like, really good impact, like, there's, there's one riding a motorcycle with a guy behind him, and Brian Bowser shoots, and the fucking motorcycle explodes with the two on it. And there's another one where Lance Anderson tells, get the fucker. The boss shoots the fucking motorcycle. The guy hits the guy, so he fly he's dead, he flies off. The motorcycle still keeps going right by the boss. Flies out the fucking window, and hits a fucking, mo fucking helicopter. And then the helicopter helicopter explodes. I know I stuttered over that because it's like I'm um, describing something. It's like I just saw that. It was, like, it was unbelievable. And I loved it. It was fun. And Bowser was, you know, Tate's names and thankfully they, they do one of those, you know, you don't buy Lance Harrison to beat the shit out of the boss. So like Boz Lance Lance tries but the boss beats him up and it's like, you know, imagine the future chains. Because you're not in and beats it, you know, hits him a few times, going to shoot him and click. And so Lance Harrison sort of is going to faint, but he flops back down the stairs. He's arrested. The guys come in, the feds come in. Brian Bowser gives his gun to the Richard Dan character. Um, Lance Harrison gets a gun and he gets shot. Boom, 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 boom. Kind of remind me a little bit of Die Hard where, you know, the partner shoots the main, the bad guy. Here is his clean cut partner. And he says something like, I forget his line, like, it's time to get shit going, or it's time to get shit on, to, to do sh stuff. But he says a bad, pretty cool line, and Brian Bowser sort of smiles, and you have that great score by Sylvester Levy. And he edges the Capitol building, and he's bloodied up. And you probably can't see it that well, but he's bloodied up. And he's got blood on his chest. He's cut up here, and you know, just walking down, you know, away from the Capitol building. Stone Cold to me. Um. Now, it's not a long movie. It's like 92 minutes. And granted, like, the girl does an alright job, but, you know, her, the scenes between her and the boss, it, it didn't interest me one way or another. Uh, but, I don't really don't have much to complain about Stone Cold. It's, it knows what it is. It's fun. It's entertaining. Most people say it's over the top. Kind of reminds you a little bit of that Charlie Sheen one, Beyond the Law, but, to be honest... I, th I like this a lot better. I'm not a big fan of that movie, but I like this one. It's fun, it's entertaining. I think Brian Bosworth does his job well. And it's a shame that, you know, he did it a few times, but not as much. And, again, you watch this movie, you can buy that he can be in Expendables too. You can buy it. And I'm glad that they actually put this on DVD. That was very cool. Uh, this is just a fun entertaining movie, you have a great villain, villains, not only Lance Hamilton, but uh, William Forsyth, De uh, more than decent score by Sylvester LeVay, uh, some decent fisticuffs and practical old school explosions, uh, badass hero, and it's a memorable ending, I mean that is the best part of the movie, is the ending where, you know, the Capitol building and you have the helicopter and you know, Brian Bowser taking names. Very entertaining movie. You know, if you don't watch this movie, watch it. At least for the ending alone. The last 15, 20 minutes. The ending alone, I would catch this movie. Give this movie a watch. At least for the ending. If you don't like the rest of it, fine. At least watch the ending. But yeah, I think the Boz um, deserves... He, I thought he proved himself in this movie. Um, I don't care if he was a football star. He proved it. I think he did better than Goldberg, 
but I know he's not football, but I'm just saying, I look at even wrestlers, like, the boss does a hell of a better job than fucking John Cena. Or, or even Stone Cold Steve Austin, to be honest. Which, I, I like them in The Expendables, but, you know, for movies of him alone, no. Boz did it, though, with this film. He did it twice with another one, One Man's uh, Justice, I think it's called. But, you know, better than John Cena, better than fucking Goldberg, this guy knew what he was doing. And it's a shame that this film was not a bigger hit. I think it was entertaining, I think it was fun, and I think it was badass. So, that's Stone Cold. If you're an action fan, like, I think Action Fan 389 hasn't seen this. I'm not sure if Aaron, the Reese Double Seven, I'm not sure if he's seen this movie. If you two have not seen it, you need to see Stone Cold. You have to see it. No bullshit. You have to see it. Rent it off Netflix. Uh, buy it online. I think someone actually put it on YouTube. Uh, you can look up Stone Cold, Boz. I'm not sure if it's still up. I think someone even put it like an AVI file. But Stone Cold, I enjoy the film. You know, again, the only problem is the stuff with him and the girl. It doesn't take up too much screen time, though. But, you know, like, eh. but doesn't do much, doesn't help or hurt the film. Other than that, though, good villains, solid hero, and a hell of an ending. So, thanks for watching, and take care. Later.